Hello everybody. So today I'm going to show you Android 4.4.2 KitKat on the Samsung Galaxy S3, the AT&T AT version for North America. So let's go down into, just to show you 4.4.2 i747, which is the North American LTE version of the Galaxy S3. Let's go to the spinning K. Spin, spin, up. There we go, 4.4.2. All right, so this is the actual KitKat uh, ROM for CyanogenMod, Mod, with its Cyanogen Mod 11, using their snapshot from January 14th of 2004, or uh, excuse me, January 4th, 2014. Anyway, let's move on to just some kind of an overview, kind of what it's what my experiences have been with uh, KitKat so far. Uh, battery life has been pretty good. Four hours of screen time. Um, it's about six hours on the battery. Um, I haven't really used much else. I'm just trying to do kind of a stress test for the battery, um, mainly for the screen. Usually it's the biggest draw of power from the battery. So that's what I'm using my test to do. It's at about 44%. I usually only aim for about two to three hours of screen time per day. Um, this is, again, this is a stress test. Uh, overall, 4.4 is very smooth. If we go into the apps section and show you the memory usage. Uh, internal storage, eh, give or take, depending on how many apps you have, but it's not very generous to begin with. It's only about seven, seven gigs free probably want to get an SD card but moving on to memory usage uh, it's about 700 almost 800 uh, megabytes of RAM used right now this is probably with you know Facebook open and other apps are open this is probably about two or three hundred megabytes less than what I was experiencing on uh, Samsung's 4.3 touchwiz and touchwiz is a very heavy skin of Android in the first place, but not everybody needs and or wants all of those features. So maybe a uh, near vanilla Android experience is, is better for you. Uh, overall, KitKat is it's really smooth. Battery life is great. It has the built-in screen recording, which I, I love. I'm going to be using it a lot. I'm probably going to test that with a couple games, see uh, how smooth the uh, final recordings are when it's taxing the CPU and GPU. Uh, I, I'm really loving the screen recording software. Uh, if you're wondering what app I'm using, it is this. Uh, if you go into Google Play Store and search for REC, just REC screen recorder, uh, you should find it. It's built for 4.4 KitKat's uh, built-in recording features. So it works with a rooted if you have 4.4 KitKat, root your phone or tablet, um, and it should work. It doesn't require you to plug into a computer like the native function does. This is all on your phone. You can change the bit rate, the duration. Um, the audio recording is not working right now, but I believe that it, it'll be a really cool feature once it starts, starts working. Um, I did buy the pro version. It was about $3. Um, as far as it being worth it, if you're really going to be doing a lot of screen recording, $3, not too bad. The the benefits, just a couple more app function, a couple more features of app functionality. And the original demo was only 30 seconds of recording time. You're now uh, up to an hour of recording time. So that's, I mean, that's, that's reasonably long for just about any, anybody's uses. So... Anyway, that's my video. Uh, expect to see a couple more, maybe a few more screen recordings from from me. Uh, maybe some games in the future. I might do a Need for Speed uh, recording. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos or more screen recordings in the future, please subscribe. Um, and if you haven't already, check out my other videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.